My name is Patrick Forsberg. I run a company called Stiller Studios in Stockholm, Sweden, where we do live action on CGI with uh, motion control cameras that are fully repeatable. So we're trying to invent and provide workflows that make it possible for small European countries to make uh, films on the level of what they do here in America. So trying to democratize really, really expensive shots. We started off uh, in uh, 2010 with a film, uh, children's movie called La Samaya. These movies were shot on a budget of 3 million uh, euros each instead of the 30 or even 100 Euro, million euros you would need to do the same with the old workflows. And it's all a matter of spending the money on what is going to end up on screen. We, we use a Mark Roberts motion control. It's a 4.7 ton big robot that knows exactly where it is in space. We have a uh, 450 square meter big uh, green, green screen studio. So we can shoot live action on CGI, meaning that the live action will be blended uh, with the virtual uh, action or the virtual reality while we're shooting so that the director and the uh, DOP they can see live what they are doing. We call it pixel perfect moving camera multipass shots with real-time previs delivered as compositing software scripts with timeline foreground background clean plates FPXs, alembics and passes all the minutes after each shot with all metadata contained and faster than live action. And to walk you through that in its simplest form we just take a stills photo and then we add uh, actors on top of that using our motion control. And it would look like this. That is the still we get from the client. This is the background that gets uh, out of the system. That's what we shot. And that's how it looks pixel on pixel. This is me in London. This is the background. So the background gets tracked. And instead of sending this out to 3D system, we send it out to the camera and then the camera repeats exactly what I did and we can put the actor in there. Problem with actors is they never do what you tell them to. So uh, we shoot a big background and then a smaller foreground. So we can pan and tilt within that foreground. And then this is what it looks like on the movie. That's what the camera sees. That is what the director sees and that's what ended up on the movie. This is just a very simple showing of how it works. You can see that the camera is moving, the dinosaur is moving. We take the data, we send it off to the motion control camera and to the uh, motion base. So they both moving and put them on top of each other. No work done whatsoever. This is just on top of the, each other and it'll be looking like he's riding it. What you can see is that there are no tracking markers whatsoever because we provide the system with uh, exact data. That's what we want to deliver. Pixel on pixel, we call it. This is the tool that we're using. Uh, we've built it on top of Adobe products. Uh, we built it on top of Premiere Pro and on top of uh, After Effects and it's for our pre-visual work. May look like this. And then shooting it. This is what the camera sees, and then this has been uh, this has been combed in After Effects by friends of ours uh, at the company called Lavette Film. This ne next one, the Film Engine, is a totally new product, and it's like this: you build your set, then you take all that, put on your Oculus glasses, and you let the director do his recce. Look, where does he want to shoot this? Uh, then you can move stuff around. And you can even add your digital actors into this if you want them for background. So you don't need your thousands of extras. They're going to be out of focus anyway, so they'll be fighting in the background. Uh, then we place the camera. Then we place the field where we want to shoot our live action in the depth. And then, of course, we do our keying. Uh, we're using tools here from uh, After Effects to do the keying. And then the director of photography, he can match the lights based on what he sees here. So he, he will be matching the virtual reality with the real reality. And uh, we run the camera manually. I hate pre-programmed moves. So everything is run manually by our crane operator and by our DOP. Uh, 
and they do that with live preview. So for directors, for actors, for uh, DOPs, they will see what they shoot. And I think this is the secret in the source, that instead of shooting on green, you shoot your final production. You will understand what you're shooting. Then we go straight into editing, and this is not the final product. This is what we would call our offline. So here decisions are made. Here you uh, do your editing. And once you've done your editing, you export this through some tools that we've built so that the post-production people will only work on the files that are uh, ending up in the movie. But also, while you're shooting, uh, you can send everything off straight out to the internet. So like if you're from here, you would probably go with your DOP and with your director and probably be your producer to Stockholm, Sweden. You could have your full team here and they will have all the files literally seconds after we shot so they can start working, comping, editing, etc. So, uh, like I said, we're doing this because we want to democratize the right to shoot really cool motion control and CGI work. Uh, and be able to shoot it on a budget that works for European uh, filmmakers and not only for the really, really big American ones.